Zero at Disney Cars Toy Club, and today we're doing a Simpsons video for you guys. We're going to be opening up two of the Kid Robot blind boxes. We have two Lego minifigure packs. We have two Simpsons surprise eggs. And finally, we have the Intellitronic Noiseland Arcade with Jimbo Jones. Now, we're going to start the video off by opening up the Lego minifigure packs first. And we've had sort of mixed responses on whether or not you guys want to see more Simpson toys on the channel or not. Some of our audience does want to see more and some of you guys don't. I actually really like the Simpsons, so that's the reason why I wanted to do this video today. And for our first figure, it looks like we got Ralph. And I'll go ahead and get them put together real quick and we'll check them out. So here's our very silly Ralph character with his I Choo Choo Choose You card. This is the little Valentine card from where he gave it to Lisa. So there's our Ralph. We'll set him down. Let's go ahead and open up our other Lego minifigure pack. And for this one, it looks like we got... Okay, so we got the bully. I can't think of his name right now. What is his name? It's the bully from the show. And he goes, ha ha, he makes that noise. I, I can't think of his name. That's going to drive me crazy now. It's almost like playing Jeopardy where they ask you a question on the spot that you should know and you just can't think of it. But I'll go ahead and get him put together real quick and we'll check him out. So here's our little bully put together. And you know what's funny? As soon as I turned the camera off, I was like, Nelson, it's Nelson. I just couldn't think of it when I opened him up. But there's our Nelson figure. We'll set him down. And here's going to be the Simpsons Kid Robot Blonde Boxes. This is series number two. Series number one is actually really hard to find. In fact, I've never seen a case of series number one for sale because they're a little bit older, but they didn't make very many of them. So they're just really hard to find. And the figures from that set are worth an awful lot. So even if there was a case for sale, it probably, I would think it would sell for at least $800 or more. But here is Otto, the bus driver. He has his little headphones here with his little Walkman. You know, that's one thing about this show. I don't know if they ever upgraded him to an iPod. I think he's still wearing the, uh, the Walkman, even in the newer shows. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong on that one. But let's go ahead and open up one more blind box, and then we're going to check out the arcade. And for this one, we got... Oh, Sideshow, is it Mel? I think it's Sideshow Mel. Obviously, it's not Kelsey Grammer's Sideshow Bob, but I think his name is Sideshow Mel with the big bone in his hair. Not one of my more favorite characters from the show. And he's actually, he's a 1 in 20, and Otto is, where's he at? There he is. He's a 2 in 20. So this one's actually a little bit harder to get. Not a super rare or anything like that. Now, let's go ahead and open up the arcade back here. So this is the Jimbo Jones Noiseland Arcade. Here's a look at the box. And as you can tell, this is a pretty old box. And oh man, I just wiped out Bart. But I was looking to see if the date, here's the date on here, it's 2001. But I'll go ahead and get this thing completely out of the box so we can check it out. Now before I go and replace these batteries, I wanted to show these to you guys. This is what batteries look like when they've been sitting inside of something for 14 years. I mean, they're really melted. You definitely don't want to touch something like that. It's got battery acid all over it. But I'm hoping once I get these out, I can put some new batteries in and I'm hoping it's going to work. But I'll go ahead and see if we could get this figured out. So here's a look at the arcade with Jimbo in there. And the funny thing about the way they put these little pegs, he can't actually reach any of the machines. Like if you take them out, he can either face this way or that way. This one he can face here or here. So they didn't actually let him kind of face one of the machines and be plugged in, which is kind of uh, interesting. But there's three buttons right here. Hey, where's your diaper, baby? <laughs> so as you can see, it makes him talk and then he says all sorts of different things. There's a button right here now. That's on the demo mode. If you change it, it starts making the noises from the arcade machines. And this is the little boxing arcade game that Homer Simpson and Bart had played in one of the really early episodes. Here's a look at the one side of the machine. Here's a look at the other side. And here's a look at the back. Not a whole lot to it. Right there's the speaker. So it's kind of a cool little play set. There's the little trash can back there with a few drinks thrown on the floor. 
Now it also comes with this. It comes with a camera and a little piece of uh, what I'm assuming is like a video cassette that you would put in the camera. That's my guess as to what this little black box is. Not really sure what Jimbo Jones has to do with a camera. I don't remember an episode where he was using a camera, but I think it should pop into his hand. There we go. So you can kind of hold it up there and record a little bit. And finally, it also comes with this. It looks like maybe a peanut butter marshmallow sandwich. I'm not sure. I don't know what that is. It kind of looks a little bit like a s'more too. Maybe it's a graham cracker and some marshmallow. What do you guys think that is? It's, it's something that I don't know. I don't know what fits with an arcade Jimbo Jones and a trash can full of drinks. That just seems like some little piece of food. And then right here, this, this pinball machine's called Nuke Canada. That one's called Slugfest, and that one's called Larry the Looter. I, I'm pretty sure both of these have been in the show. I don't remember this one being in the show. That's one that I'm not familiar with. That's kind of a neat play set. I do like it. It's a little simple. He's graceful, yet masculine. And we have shown a few of the different play sets. We did Mr. Burns, we did Homer, and I think we did one other one. Well, let's go ahead and move on to a Play-Doh X. This is going to be Bart, who has fallen on the floor once. He got kicked once, and he's still, <laughs> he's still put together. But he's got his little spiky hair up here. And let's go ahead and get the Play-Doh off. And inside, we have three Simpsons surprise packs. Now, if I remember correctly, these are going to be the keychains, I think. I think that's what these are. And it is. So we got Lisa as our first keychain. So that's a pretty neat one. Set her down. For our next keychain, looks like we got Disco Stew. Here's our Disco Stew. He's one of my favorite characters from the show. I really like that keychain. That's a keeper right there. I'm gonna have to find something somewhere special to put that one. And then we got Grandpa Simpson again, which we had already gotten him in the past. So what I'm gonna do for you guys, since we did get him either last week or the week before, I'm gonna go ahead and open up one more of these. So here we go with try number four. Here's a look at the box, which I didn't show you guys the box because I had to fit them inside of the Play-Doh egg. For our fine, hopefully our final one, we got Marge. So here's our Marge. So that's gonna be a new one. So that's pretty cool. We got three new ones in the video, and then up next we have a Homer Donut Play-Doh egg. So this is the donut that Homer likes to eat. That's actually a pretty cool looking donut. And then we're gonna take the Play-Doh off, and inside of here we have three more Simpson blind boxes. These are gonna be a different type of keychain. This is the first time I've shown these to you guys on the channel. Here's some of the different figures that you can collect. And let's just go ahead and get the first one opened up. For this one, we got something green and it's a, okay. So it's Homer's nuclear rod. So there's this little rod that goes to the power plant. That's a pretty cool one. And for our next one, and I, th I think these are new. These are like the 25th anniversary, yeah, 25 years keychains. This one is gonna be Bart's skateboard. Here's a look at that. Now a lot of the items that I open on the channel, I don't know a whole lot about. Like some of you guys request some really weird stuff that I've never heard of. But this, this is stuff that I actually know quite a bit about. So hopefully I can get all of these right. And for our final one, we got what I think is probably Nelson's baseball bat, as he has over here. Let's take a look. Let's do a little comparison. That looks, that looks pretty close. So I'm thinking that's his baseball bat. So those are kind of cute little keychains. And if you guys want to see more of those, just be sure and comment below because we can open up more of these in the egg videos that we do. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to press the like button. This is Zero at Disney Cars Toy Club. And as always, thanks for stopping by.